Hello YouTube, this is Pyman777 here, and this will be the first episode of NBT Explorer How- Sorry, How To's. Don't know what that was. Um, okay. Due to the lack of comments, um, on deciding which of the two, uh, projects I presented in one of my more recent videos about which of the about which what I should show you how to do first I'm going to show you how to do the how to make the giant explosion creeper so here we have a normal creeper normal except he's named Frank um, and we're going to make him, make his explosions extremely large. So, you don't have to, so, you don't have to set up a house like this. You just have, you just have to have, it works best if you have what you want to change. Um, because that's how I'm going to show you how to do it. It should be possible to create something entirely from scratch, but I tried it and I couldn't get it to work. So I'm going to show you how to change something. So if there is nothing else like it in your world, like it's the only creeper, then you don't have to name it. But if there's going to be other creepers or um, other things you want to modify that are of the same type. I thought the zone was going down. Right? But other, th if there are other things you want to, m other things of the same type that of the one you want to modify, you should really name it because it makes finding it a whole lot easier. So, with that out of the way, let's get down to making and finding it, so. You're going to open up your NBT Explorer, and then it will show you all of your worlds that you have in your Minecraft game right now. If you want to add more, uh, then you click open folder and select where it, it where your world is that you want, that has the stuff you want to change. Mine's on NBT Explorer right here. Okay. Um, now, uh, it is going to be in the region file. So, so, we're going to select region, search, find, and then name. I'm, since it's the only named thing in my world, I'm going to go custom name value so this will search for anything that has a custom name with a value of frank so it'll it should bring up my creeper yeah here it is here's the creeper so here is all of its information. It cannot pick up loot. Hmm. This confuses me. It this should be one. However, I have noticed a difference between name tags and using this to name things. You see, if you use a name tag, you've noticed how you can't see through blocks to the um, object's name, or creeper's name, whereas with players you can. If you set this to one, it will make it work like a player's one, like a player's name tag. We have its explosion radius. This is what I changed. You have your, whether or not it is 
ignited, whether or not it's invulnerable, meaning can you kill it or not. It's not leashed, it is on the ground, you do have to kill it, it won't just naturally despawn, that's one, it has 300 ticks of air if it goes underwater. We've not attacked it recently. This is, this is used to the, hang on, let me, oh, this is used to determine the death animation. So when it falls over. Um, hurt time is how many, is how many ticks it stays red after getting hit. Health, we have its fuse 30 ticks, not on fire. It has not been in a portal recently. It's in the overworld. These UUIDs, I have not figured out what they do yet. However, you do need them. If you're creating something, then you will need to add a UUID. I have actually created animals with um, a previous version of this. Um, and I used my UUID, like, the player, the player's UUID, so, player data, this is due to the, this used to be the username, but now it's like that because, um, because they're supporting new username changes, if you haven't seen Minecraft recently. Um, so this has all of my stuff. Here's my UUID, most and least. So, if you're making something some, from scratch, I've used my own UUID and changed the last number by one. And it has worked. So, let's just go in here, make this, I double clicked that, make the edit, make the explosion radius to whatever you want. I'm going to change it to 30. Nice big explosion. And let's make this creeper explode and get in the game. True. So, you can change a lot of other stuff on this. I can show you how to do that, um, like, you can have it leashed, you can have it invincible, well, invin invincible is quite simple, but will be wasted on a creeper, I think. You know, we've never really had an invulnerable creeper. Let's see, no, no, I don't think it would survive the explosion. You can have different attributes, which I may get into, into in another video. The chances each item it's holding will drop. Step to it. This is its generic value. What it's holding, where it is, and where where it's looking, and where it's going. So you can go real in-depth on what you're changing on this. But, since we're only changing uh, what it's ex the size of its explosion, sorry, then we can just click Save All Modified Tags, Shrink It, and then go back into the world, and it should explode immediately. Wow. This was just 30. Why can't I fly? Okay. So, I missed an aerial, I didn't do an aerial view last time, but, so, I'll make up for it in this one. This is the explosion from a single creeper. 
you just saw that happen. All we did was up the explosion radius and make it make it uh, oh change its ignited to true instead of false um, as a generic rule of, as a basic rule of thumb um, one is true zero is false huge explosion from a single creeper. This, it's, I think, if we measured from here to there, it would be 30. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I don't know. I don't know. But, It's big. It's bigger than any creeper I have ever seen. Because I think the one I showed was only 20. Well, if you enjoyed and learned something from this video, then please consider leaving a like, a comment, well, a like and a comment telling me what I should do next time. Um, the two projects are still up for debate. We can do... We can... I can show you how to... Make animals go super fast, or how to... Extreme enchant something. So... Thank you for watching. Again, please consider leaving a like. Pyman. 777.